All right. Hello. This is your host of Peculiar Happenings, and you're listening to WCVF FM Fredonia, 88.9 The Voice. We are the campus and community voice of Fredonia. How's it going out there? This I'm is- the only person that could answer that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think anyone else can respond. Which Probably is not. Really sad. But this is oh, this is fun. This yeah. Is, this is we have not done this before. This we have not. Um, mm-hmm. We should probably introduce ourselves. Yes. Um, well, like I'm Shelby. And I'm Lee. We're your hosts. Yeah. Uh, we usually do Peculiar Happenings on WDVL from 8 to 9 on Thursdays. Yes. You all so this check is that out. new territory for us in several ways. This is the first time we're doing something in the station, like during the day when it's not pitch dark out. Yeah. <laughs> and We're usually here when no one is here. Yeah. And we, have, we haven't done anything on the station before. And... I'm going to assume by the fact that I can hear your voice through my headphones, the fact that no one has, like, barged in here yet means that... I think it's, it's working. <laughs> we're broadcasting. We're good. And it's not, like... Because it was right before we got in, they were, like, dead air, dead air. It was just silent. It People was scary for a second. It was scary. It was but frightening. We got it. We did get that. So, oh, I forgot to start the timer. Okay. We've got a timer now, so we can remember to do stuff we have to do. Okay. Yes. All right. So, usually what we do is we talk about, you know, Stranger Things. We talk about, like, the characters, the episodes, the seasons. Yes. But we decided to do something a little different today. We're going to do something have. a little more fun, which is we're going to take quizzes to see which Stranger Things character we are. Exactly. We are. Um, yes. I forgot to check the name of this first quiz, actually. This before. one is what your assigned Stranger Things fave means about you, parentheses, brutally honest on you quiz. Is this the right one? Are you on the same one? Yep. Okay. okay. Awesome. All right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna take it. We're just gonna read it out loud. Yeah, we're gonna read the options out loud. We're gonna talk about what we want to choose and why we're we're choosing said option. Mm -hmm. Um, So like, first question. I guess we can just get right into it. Do you want to read? You can read it if you like. We can we can alternate. Oh, okay. I got you, dude. Guys, don't judge me if I stutter and stumble. Um, I try my best to read. (laughs) Okay, so what's your favorite song from the Stranger Things soundtrack? Mm -hmm. Time after time, love is a battlefield. Heroes. Every breath you take, Tarzan boy. Oh, it's in different orders for me. I was getting confused. Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's interesting. It's okay, but it has all the same songs. Okay. So. Uh, can't fight this feeling anymore. I melt with you, Monster Mash. Oh, that's a great one. A monster. Mash. Sunglasses at night, talking in your sleep, separate ways, and we'll meet again. Ooh. Okay. So for me, it's between separate ways and talking in your sleep. Interesting. I think I might have to go with time after time, only because I love that one. scene in season two. Time it's a time. good song too. We love Ooh. we love singing. <laughs> it is it's great. I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. I think I I do love separate ways, but I think I'm gonna have to go with talking in your sleep because I love the bass line for that. That is very fun to play. I play it all the time. It's just a blast. Okay. Very valid. Question two. All right, you're gonna read favorite this time. time of day: Ooh. dawn, morning, midday, afternoon, evening, night, and then late late night. Parentheses two a.m. ish. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go midday. Because I feel like I'm, I'm awake, I'm functioning yeah. at that time of the day. Well, what do you think? Sorry, I was yawning. Um, I don't know. I kind of, I really like night, but I also like morning. Mm. I think it's true. I'm going to go with night just for the vibes. Just for the vibes. The I feel vibes, like things yeah. are always so fun at night. I'm going to go midday. <laughs> the next <laughs> question. This one's just coming straight out. Okay, this is, <laughs> the next question is, are you gay? Uh-huh. Um, nah, but I support the cause. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately not. I can't say you that can't word. can't say that one on air. <laughs> uh, gay rights, woo, and don't ask me don't that. Don't ask me that. Okay. I'm going to say gay rights. Yeah. I think that's, that's, that's also what I have to go with, yeah. obviously. I like, I like that the only options are like, no, I support the cause, nope, or unfortunately not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's, Sounds like someone I knew in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's kind of weird. Okay, pick a treat. Twizzlers, Snickers, M&M's, Three Musketeers, Reese's Pieces, Butterfinger, Sweet Tarts, Kit Kats, Jolly Ranchers, or Almond Joy. Mm. Ooh, this is like, what's your favorite Halloween candy, kind of? That's so true. Out of this set of options, I, ooh, I think I love Reese's, but I'm not a big fan of Reese's Pieces. Yeah, that's fair. So I think I might have to go, I think I might have to go M&M's. I really like almond joys. I'm gonna go with. Almond I was gonna. Joys. That was my I other option. I love a good. Almond I do. Joy. I like mounds better though because I love dark chocolate. Yes, dark chocolate is my favorite. Mm. Okay. Okay. If you could have a superpower, mm-hmm. what would you choose? Uh, matter manipulation. Can't Ooh. say that word. Flight, 
super strength, super speed, shape shifting, time travel, or invisibility. Shape shifting. Shape shifting. Shape shifting right is so bat. obvious, right? Shape shifting. Because then you can you can fly if you want. Yeah. You can get something close to invisibility, which is you can be like a little fruit fly or something flying around exactly. and no one will see you. You could also You could get super strong too. Exactly. I also feel like it's very um I don't know, like there's something about like struggling with your gender identity mm-hmm. that would really just being a shapeshifter is yeah. so androgynous. Being a shapeshifter, I love yeah. that vibe. You 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 can look like however you want if you're a shapeshifter and you don't even need to like pay or get surgery to do it. That's pretty exactly. sick. Ooh, this next one's interesting. Ooh, okay. Um it says which of these oh wait, you're oh, supposed to read. It's you're okay. to, sorry. I, I would I would let you anyway, but which of these shirts from season three would you actually wear? Ooh, so we're gonna have to describe these. Well, it does have a description underneath, oh, okay. kind of. Elle's excellent fashion show suspenders. And it's the shirt from season three where Elle has like the blue shirt with like the squiggles over it. Mm-hmm. Robin's really sick scoops troop uniform. It's That's her scoop troop uniform, like the salar out the stripy shirt. Lucas is radical red tank top. It's like the sleeveless tank top. We've got yep, the Max's vibe. shirt that has like the fun stripes. Hopper's like <laughs> pink and green, like Hawaiian shirt. Mike's yellow repression button down. The names of these are really <laughs> funny. <laughs> That it's ugly. I'm not even gonna bother you. No, like I was I was gonna yellow. say that. Oh, I, with the stories. So t- no, t- not that I oh, pick it. No, okay. that it's ugly. <laughs> As I'm there, like I'm so sorry, Lee, but that's ugly. Nancy's <laughs> peppy purple cut dress thing, and then Jonathan's journalism gender. Slip. I think I'm gonna have to go with that one just because uh, of the, the names gender are so slip. good. I think I'm going by these. Which ones I would actually wear? I would wear Lucas's radical red tank top. I would wear that. I think I would wear Jonathan's journalism gender slay. I feel but like I, I feel like it's fitting. It's very neutral tone. Yeah, and I, feel I like do you're really like neutral. Elle's excellent fashion show suspenders. Elle's though. excellent fashion show suspenders. But all the stuff that I would wear, I feel like I would definitely go more Jonathan. Yep. Every time I hear route. excellent, all I think of is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That's a great movie. It's so good. I love it so much. But they came out with a new one. I know. I saw it. You did see it? Yeah, I saw the oh. most recent one. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I'll have like, to watch all. it. I haven't seen the most recent one. It, it definitely was different from, I think, the first two. It, yeah. it didn't have quite the same level of zaniness. That, that makes sense. Me, but that happens. Okay. All right. Someone tries to pick a fight with you. What Ooh. do you do? Run. I'm booking it out of there. Mm-hmm. Two, fight back. I'll throw the first punch. Three, try to talk my way out of it and defuse the situation. Four, oh, goodness, again. I won't provoke them, but I'll swing back. Ooh. Five, verbally assault them. Okay, before I think they... mine are in the same order as yours for once. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, five is verbally assault them before <laughs> they can hit me, publicly humiliate them. That's pretty intense. Uh, six, close your eyes and wait for it to be over. It won't give them, I won't oh. give them what they want. Okay. <laughs> Seven, crying. I'm Some crying of these are definitely sadder than others. They definitely are. I feel like I'm the kind of person, I don't, I wouldn't want to fight unless... I had to, so I feel Unless like I wouldn't. Unless it was necessary. I, I wouldn't throw the first punch, though. Hmm. I wouldn't throw the first, I would try to run away, and then if they won't let me go out, it's like, okay, I'll, like, <laughs> yeah, do something horrific, I guess. I think I would try to talk my way Start out using, of like, it. improvised weaponry. I would try to defuse oh. the situation by talking, or I would close my eyes and I'm, I'm running, I'm, I'm booking it out of there. That's I don't want to fight so real. Her. I really don't, okay. Pick a song lyric from my current playlist. Yes, you have to choose. Okay, so I've always been a coward and never know what's good for me. From Hounds of Love by Kate Bush. I love Kate Bush. Kate Bush so, is good. so good. Brothers fight and blood is filled. No one stays to see the kill. Seven hours ago, honey water. Hmm. So, oh my God, some of these are so long. There's a load of compromising on the road to my horizon, but I'm going to be where the lights are shining on me. Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> Rhinestone Blue Cowboy. Oh my gosh, I love that song. <laughs> I've never heard most of these except for the Kate Bush one. Except for the... um. Actually, yeah, I've only heard the Kate Bush one. You're scheming on a thing. That's Mirage. I'm trying to tell you now. It's Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Sabotage. Now, here you go again. You say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. And then they say that these are not the best of times, but the only times I've ever known. Summer, Highland Falls, Billy Joel. Uh, I'm going to go with the Kate Bush one just because I don't know any of these other mm-hmm. songs or artists. Yeah, I'm going with Rhinestone Cowboy. I love that song. It's a childhood song for me. That's why I like yeah. it so much. Um all right, the next question is, do you think you could kill a Demogorgon? Ooh. No. <laughs> uh, okay, absolutely no question. Are you kidding me? Tell me. <laughs> Tell my mother I love her. That's what I think that's what yeah. I would do. Uh, three, uh, do I get a weapon? Is it a gun? I feel the answer is very different depending on whether I get a gun or a knife. That's yeah. so Nancy Coco. That's I'm, I'm answering that one. I'm answering that one. Listen, that's if so you true. If you pit me by myself against a Demogorgon, tell my no parents way. I love them. I'm a goner. Yeah. But you give me, like, some sort of weapon... 
I'd probably still, you know, beef it, but I would I, do some damage. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I'll go that one, even though the mother yeah. one's really funny. Uh, the last two are alone, no, no, and the final one is sure. I'd say I've got a 50-50 shot. I'm going to do that one. I feel like I have yeah. a 50-50 shot. It's either going to be yes or, like, no way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so all right. Okay. What should, who should Katniss have ended up with? Oh, okay. Oh, I know. It's my answer. Okay, the options are Gal, Peta, 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 by herself, or oh my god, shut up. I'm leaning towards the last two. I think by herself or oh my god, shut up. Because I have a visceral hatred of love triangles in media. That's true. I did not like the love triangle in the sense of I hated Gail. That's my Ooh, personal opinion. Okay. So I don't even remember Pita. who this guy is. I remember Peta's like the baker boy and that's it. Yeah. Well, Gail was like her childhood friend, but there it's com- this Crazy. okay, I can I won't get into it. Uh but it's complicated. <laughs> I'll go Peta though. All right. Uh what breakfast club archetype do you fit Ooh. best? Um oh, okay. So, one the athlete, two the brain. Three, the beauty, four, the criminal, or five, the basket case? Uh, the basket case. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. feel like I feel like I would, I don't fit any of them other than the basket case, I feel like. Yeah, because it's like I, the athlete, I'm not athletic. The brain, I, I don't consider myself to be super, like, super smart yeah. enough to make it like a personality trait. The beauty, yeah, I don't, I don't like that one. The criminal, yeah, I, I haven't committed enough crimes. I'm, I'll go, I'll go the basket case. Yeah, the basket case. case. Let's see. What's your number one Stranger Things endgame ship Ooh. name? So there's Byler. I'm actually I'm not even gonna read the ship names. I'm just gonna say the pairings for people who don't know what they are. Byler, that's who is that? Am I going insane? Uh, I can't. It's Mike and Mike. Is it is that Mike and Will? I think so. Okay, the, maybe okay. I don't know. Mike and Will. <laughs> I Mike don't know and the Eleven. Names that well. Jonathan and Nancy. Steve and Nancy. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Oh, Lucas and Max. Oh. Ellen Max. I haven't heard of that one. Oh. Joyce and Hopper. D- D- Dustin and Susie. Yes. Rocky. What is Rocky? I don't know. I haven't heard of that one. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go Doozy or Jopper. Doozy. Only Because I love Dustin. I want him to be happy. I know. I think I'll do that. Yeah. Just I have cause. to go. I th- I'm thinking I'm going to go with Jopper, Joyce and Hopper. I love them. I That's my second so choice. Fun. I love them. Okay. Um, okay, the last one is, what's the best season of the show? Oh, no, this is a second, second question. Last one. Sorry, guys, I jumped ahead. It's okay. Uh, what's the best season of the show? Mm-hmm. Season one, hands down, stick with the, with the OG, or stick with the OG. Uh, two, is season two, no question, the vibes are immaculate. Season three, are you kidding? You can't beat the summer season. And four, without a doubt, the show just keeps getting better. Uh, this is hard. Okay, I love season three, and that's mm-hmm. definitely one of my choices, but I think I'm going to go season two. I don't know why, and a lot of people don't like season two, but well, I, I kind of love it. I, we, we talk about, A lot of people didn't like the stuff with Kelly. I think it's a lot true. of people it's thought true. it felt too ungrounded or like cartoonish, yeah. and I know a lot of people didn't like it. But again, it was, nece- it was necessary for the plot and Elle's yeah. development of powers. I was going to say, I think I, I can't decide between two or three. Because you know, I love I love the autumnal Halloween spooky vibes of season two, yeah. But season three, I have to give it to due credit because that's where we get Robin, who's like one of my favorite characters of literal all time in that's any so media ever. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go. I'm I have to go with my gut. I'm going with three. I'm going with. Three. That's so valid. I just okay. skipped the last. Yeah, one. The last question is just like just say whatever. Okay. Yeah. What are your results? I got Jonathan Byers. Ooh. It says, buddy, you can sit down. It's okay. Your friends and family <laughs> will be fine. You need a, do you need a juice box? <laughs> we, we just need that. I don't think I could say that on air, but uh, it says, do you need a juice box? Oh, and then another option of something that I'm not going to say, or a psychiatrist. <laughs> you're a good person, even though you think you, oh, you're God. never going to be good enough. The world won't end if you mm. take a break. That is so That's accurate. So that's so real. Oh, I'm getting texts from my brother saying he's listening right now. What, Logan? Awesome. Spit it out. Awesome. God. After you read, by the way, we have to do a promo. Yes, I know. I've got. I've, I've been looking at the timer on my phone. We've got two minutes. Okay, so I'm going to read fast. So I got Erica Sinclair. <gasps> oh, my God, Erica. How is using humor as a coping mechanism working out for you? You project confidence and a carefree attitude, but all you really want is someone to show you real friendship. Your combatant is a way to keep you from getting too close so that you don't get hurt. You are a great person. You are incredibly likable. Let people like you. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't think I do a lot of that. I I don't think I act super confident or carefree. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of chilling. You're just kind of chilling. I respect I don't, that. Yeah, I feel like my baseline sort of self is just like, eh, I'm I'm here. What's up? 
Yeah, that's valid. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. valid. All right. So let's, let's do one of these promos. I'm yes. going to fade us okay. out. All right, you ready? We'll be back in like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> Tune in every Friday at noon to catch one of Fredonia's hottest radio shows, High Noon Friday. Catch the community voices on local news. Keep updated on the latest sports games, the weather, world affairs and international news, and other entertaining segments like trivia and just the facts. High Noon Friday, every Friday at noon, on 88.9 WCVF and 89.5 WDVL. All righty. So I just back. realized I did, in fact, just play the wrong thing. That's okay. But it's, We're all good. It's, it's okay. I played something at a time I was supposed to play something. Yeah. It's exactly. fine. Exactly. This is fine. Do we want to read it's our okay. first grapevine? Oh, uh, I don't we wait think a little we, bit? I think we have to do that at 45 minutes. Okay. I don't think we, we have can to do, do that, that quite yet. We can take our next quiz then if we would like. Yes. The, the next thing we have to do is like the um, station ID thing at 30 minutes in. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Logan has said hi. Hi, Logan. Thank hi, you for Logan. listening. We're just having a silly, goofy time. We are having and a And I just played time. the wrong thing, but it's okay. That's all right. So this no next one has one. stormed in to yell at me, so I think we're fine. All right. So an- so the next one is called Answer Some Stranger Things Four Questions, and I'll s- and I'll okay, give you a protagonist from the season. Ooh. Yes. So, are you? Do you have let me put up? in my name. I just put in random letters for it. Okay. What season is your favorite so far? One, mm-hmm. two, three, four. Wait. I gotta be consistent. I'm just doing three again. I'll, I'll do I'll two, two again. again. All right, so question number two. What's your opinion on season four? It's amazing. Not my favorite season, but really good or not the best. Ooh. I, I would say, oh, it was really good. Mm-hmm. But if I'm talking in terms of my favorite, I don't think it was my favorite no. necessarily. But it was really good. It was I would. Really I good. wish it said it was amazing still in that one. But I think I'll go with amazing, the, but not my favorite. Yeah, I think I have yeah. to go with that too. Because it, it, my favorite is season three. Yeah. It has a special place in my heart. It's such a good season. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Next question. Choose a group: the Hawkins Young Adults, the Hawkins Kids, the Russia Trio, and then the California Crew. And then so the Ooh. Hawkins Adults. That's like Steve, Nancy. Jonathan, well, not not Jonathan, because we're going by season four here. Oh, I think. true. So that would be like the, Cali crew. St- the that's like Steve, Nancy, Robin, and Eddie. Oh, the Hawkins yep. kids. That's the party. Like L, Max, Lucas, Mike, the Russian trio, Hopper, Joyce, and Murray, and then the California yeah. crew, which that's like Jonathan, Argyle, Will, Mike, and mm-hmm. Del. I think Hawkins young adults, obviously. That's what I was gonna do. Okay, yeah. I was like, there's, okay. there's there's only nine questions in this one, and I'm starting to have a real concern. We're gonna get the same. Oh, no, oh gosh, timed is, question. Is, okay. Quick, pick a character that's not uh, that's not a result. Um, uh, Angela, Chrissy, Fred, Yuri, Susie, Vicky. I did Vicky. Uh, it's time. I hit, no, I didn't uh, want that one. Time. Oh, okay. There we go. I did Chrissy as well. Okay. I by accidentally clicked Angela, and I almost oh. cried. <laughs> I was mm, not. I, no. I okay. Pick something from this season that made me angry. That. M- Makes you the most angry to think about. Will having like five minutes of screen time and being pushed to the sidelines even worse than in season three. <laughs> Whatever oh. Mike's got going on. <laughs> Jason's entire existence and his unnecessary plot line. I would argue against that. I hate his existence, but I think his plot line was kind of necessary yeah, it because it's necessary to yeah to Eddie's talked, whole thing. We the, talked about like, it the last persecution. Night, so. We talked about it last night. So hey, listen to last night's episode when it comes out next week, and you'll yeah. you'll know what we were talking about. Yeah. Um, and the fact that there were somehow two love triangles involving a Wheeler, a Byers, and a fan favorite. Oh, Oof. this is hard. I think this is hard. I think I might have to go Mike though, only because Mike infuriated Mike me this season. A jerk. He was, he was bad so enough mean. in season three. In season four, he's just like actively the yeah. worst person ever. I'm gonna go Mike. I have to go with the love triangles. That's I, so if there's one thing about me, it's that I hate love triangles. That's I'm valid. So tired of love triangles. You do not even know. That is valid. All right. So choose a dynamic between characters that I personally mm. loved. One, anytime Lumax had the screen. Lucas and Max. Love them. I love them. Uh, number two, the Byers Hopper family. Mm. Three, the Hawkins group as a whole. Four, Steve and Dustin. And five, Jopper and their reunion. Uh, Steve and Dustin. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's what I was going to do. It was that or Jopper. We, 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 we play a little favorites here. We, we have some favorites. There's a little bit of favoritism bit going of favoritism. on here. Um, oops, okay. our bad. Um, <laughs> okay, favorite episode from the season. The Hellfire Club, Vecna's Curse, The Monster and the Superhero, Dear Billy, The Project Nina, The Dive, 
the massacre at Hawkins Lab, Papa or the piggy bag. Ooh, Ooh. I think I'm going to have to go Dear Billy. I really that liked good. that because I liked the dynamic with Max and how mm-hmm. involved she got in that season. Um, I don't know. I like that one. I like, where's the, oh, I can't remember now. I kind of want to do, I'm just going to go with Vecna's Curse because is that the one where we see them actually play D&D? It might be. I think that is because the first episode, that's the setup that's like, oh, Lucas isn't going to be able to mm. make it. I'm just yeah. going to go with that. I don't know if that's right. Oh, well. Slay. Uh, wait, wait, did I do the last one? No, I did last oh, one. Okay. You're good. Which location is your favorite? Hawkins, California, Russia, or the Upside Down? Uh, Hawkins. Uh, yeah, Hawkins. Just because that, that's what we're familiar with. I I do love the vibe of like a small, semi-rural American town where there's some weird stuff going down. That's one yeah. of my, that's literally one of my favorite, I think, tropes in media ever. Yeah. Okay. I just skipped it again. Who did you get? Uh, Steve. I got Steve too. <laughs> See, I thought this was gonna happen because we agree on too many things. We do, we do. Just, I, I, I really like the description of a dish rag over shoulder, hands on hips. He will not stand for your BS. That is so real. I That's so funny. I love him. I'm screenshotting all my answers. I like how zero percent has gotten Joyce on this quiz. What? <sighs> That's unfortunate. Joyce is such a good character. Joyce is. Joyce such is a such a good character. Okay, so I'm just checking. So in 10 more minutes, I accidentally do the promo. So in 10 minutes, I'm going to do like a liner or something. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done this before, so we're having a really fun time in here. Do do okay, that? okay. Third one. We might have to find more after We this. might have to. What Stranger Things season two character are you? All right. Would you like to start? I can. Uh, what's your zodiac sign? Mm. Pisces, uh... Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Leo, or Cancer? I'm a Capricorn. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius. When is your birthday? I forget. I need to write that down. January 8th. January 8th. Why do I have three friends that have, like, birthdays in the same week? That's crazy. Fun fact about me, I share a birthday with Elvis Presley. <gasps> I don't know if that's oh, I a do good have thing. A, no. I have, uh, I share my birthday with um, Ryan Bergara of Ghost Files and BuzzFeed Unsolved fame. Interesting. I know. I, the first time I learned that, I got so excited. Okay. Fun. What's your favorite 80s song? Should I stay or should I go by The Clash? Mm. Material Girl, Madonna. Every Breath You Take, The Police. Boys Don't Cry. Some of these don't list the artists, and I keep forgetting <laughs> which ones. But okay, there's Boys Don't Cry, Never Ending Story, I the Tiger. Sweet Dreams Are Made of These. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> that is mine. I love the rhythms. Danger Zone by Kelly Loggins. Pale Blue Eyes. Back in the USSR by The Beatles. You Don't Mess Around with Jim. Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. Mm. That's good. That is a good one. I, I have to do Sweet Dreams. I am obsessed yeah. with the st- Sweet Dreams music video. If there is one thing about me, it is that I am wholeheartedly obsessed with the Sweet Dreams Are Made of These music video by The Eurythmics. I don't know if I should do, should I stay or should I go Material Girl or Running Up That Hill? I think I'll do Material Girl. Mater- so I think I'll do Material Girl just because mm-hmm. that's one that I know of really well. Like, I know the entire song. So I think I'll do that just because <sighs> so it's, real. I don't know, it's kind of a vibe, you know? It's, I just got a text from Logan saying, yo, that's crazy. I also share a birthday with Ryan Bergeria. <laughs> yes, Logan, we're twins. That's how it works. Thank you. That is how it works. <laughs> side Deep eye. Side. Okay. <laughs> Um, right. What is your go-to weapon Ooh. while fighting enemies? Chemicals to wipe out the enemy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, chemical warfare. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. A bat with nails attached to it. My mind my, uh, my mind powers. I will scare them away by confronting them. Physical violence. A rifle, a gun. Do you need? Uh, no need for a weapon. I'll just run away and make sure everyone is safe. <laughs> a slingshot, a candlestick. <laughs> Uh, or with a secret animal of mine. I like I like the candlestick because that's the reference to the one part in season two when Elle is coming back. Everyone has like actual weapons, and Mike is just like holding a candlestick. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. I kind of I like the slingshot just because Lucas is so slay mm-hmm. with the slingshot. The slingshot is good. I, I don't know. I want to do my mind slash powers because I constantly joke about exploding people with my mind. <laughs> I would love to that be able out to do that. You. Can you imagine just being able to look at someone you hate and be like, I don't like you, and then they just. Pfft. I don't know what I want but to I, do. But I, I wouldn't have mind powers in the Stranger Things can, so mm. I'm just going to go with a, a gun. <laughs> I don't know which one would fit mm. my vibe. I feel like you should do Bat with Nails attached to it okay. for the Steve okay. Harrington. That is valid. For I, the Steve Harrington I vibe. love Steve Harrington. I love Steve Harrington. So I forgot 
I'm trying to remember. I got Eric on the first quiz. You got Jonathan. Jonathan. Then we both. Then we got both Steve. got Steve. Okay. okay. If you were in the Stranger Things universe, who would you be best friends with? Billy. Oh, uh. God forbid. <laughs> Max, Joyce, Hopper, Steve, Nancy, Jonathan, Mike, Will, Lucas, Eleven, or Dustin. The fact that Robin is not on here is a crime. How dare. I would be such good friends with Robin. I think I'd be... Uh, out of the people listed... Mm -hmm. ooh, I was going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going with Max. Max or Steve, I think. I was... Oh, okay. I was going to I think I'd get along with, well with Max. I was going to do Dustin or mm -hmm. Steve, but then I saw Max and I was like, I feel like we would be besties we too. Be besties with I Max. feel like the three of us would get along so Max well. Max would be the third member of the of the podcast. <laughs> that Max would be. Or should I just to make sure we have a little bit different? Should I do Dustin cuz he I was think was there's more too. questions on this one, so I think we're fine. And we're having we were having different I'll You do, can do I'll Max. Do, too. I'll do, do Dustin. Max too. I I did Dustin. Dustin is Dustin is a He's, wonderful wonderful I boy. just want him to be happy in life. He's so bestie. So bestie. Okay. All right. Should we do another promo uh, really quick? We before? have five minutes. Five minutes? So okay. We'll, we'll do going. like okay. a question or two more. All right. What's your favorite color? White, mm. red, green, dark blue, yellow, navy blue, camouflage blue, denim blue, purple, brown, gray, or warm colors? I'm I sorry. I'm disoriented. Have you ever heard anyone in your entire life be like, yeah, my favorite color is white? <laughs> I feel like oh, if someone just, says, I feel like, oh, white. what's your favorite color? And someone says white. I think that's a sign you've encountered a psychopath. Well, the fact that on this, on the option, it's denim blue. That's denim. so specific. Well, it's, it is specific, but I guess denim blue is a very specific color. Uh, I guess so. I'm going to go with warm colors. I do love some warm colors. I'm going green. The, the options on here, I'm, if, if, so, if anyone told me that their favorite colors were white or camouflage, I am running in the opposite direction. Or That's gray. So I am running in the opposite direction. That is weird. <laughs> that is really weird. Okay. What item of clothing slash accessory are you wearing? Mm. Is it saying, like, that you're wearing right now or you would wear? I think that you would wear. Okay. A cap, a blue jacket, a bucket hat. I don't know, but definitely with bright colors. Flannel, something warm, a striped shirt, denim jacket, a hoodie. Don't care, but I don't want to wear a top. Something nice, like a skirt. Uh, denim jacket, because I do have a denim jacket. I was going to say that. I'm going and flannel. And it looks wonderful. It does. All the pins, beautiful. Thank you. Thank Absolutely you. It's beautiful. a highly cultivated collection. It mine. is. I'm going to go flannel. Of course. Because I always wear flannel. Classic. It's just, it's part of my daily outfits. That is a, a classic. Um, all right. What book would what you book? read out of these? Mm -hmm. uh, Miss, uh, Miss Fris Fris Frisbee? Frisbee, I think. And the Rats of Nim. Nim? Oh, interesting. The City and the City... Uh, I cannot read today. I'm sorry. It's guys. okay. T uh, <laughs> Let the right one in by John, something. Uh, Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Hunting Monsters by S.L. Why? I don't know. H-U-A-N-G. Yeah, I don't know. Black Swan Green by David Mitchell. Hatchet. Oh, Hatchet was good. Hatchet. By Gary Paulson. I haven't read that. Paper Girls by Brian K. Uh, Picnic by Hanging Rock. Picnic at Hanging Rock, sorry. Firestarter, Firestarter by Stephen King. A Dark Shade of Magic. Uh, the Impossible Fortress of John. Uh, the what? <laughs> the Impossible Fortress by Jason. Uh, and I don't read books. <laughs> I don't read books. Oh, mm. absolutely not. I'm going with A Darker Shade of Magic because I haven't read that, but I've heard it's really good and I really mm. want to read it. See, I'm not sure if I should do... Harry Potter or Hatchet because Harry Potter is very controversial, but I love that series. I think... It's the same thing. Well, we we, t we mentioned last night. You can acknowledge that the creator and the people involved with it have done controversial yeah. things, but also acknowledge that hey, you know, this has been a big part of my life. Because like, I think I've mentioned this. I read the Harry Potter series twenty two times before middle school, and that's, that's when so I stopped counting because yeah. I was a very normal child who did normal things. Definitely, definitely normal. Wink, S wink. So well adjusted and just so well you know, adjusted. regular in every sense of the word. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, but I'm going with a darker shade of magic. All right. Okay. Slay. What is your favorite subject? Maths. Ugh. Health. Could not be. Science. Language. History. Well, obviously, I know what mine is going to be. Sport. English. Media. I don't go to school. None. They all suck. That's so real. I'm going to do English. That's real. just, that's my major, though. So <laughs> <it makes sense. laughs> I'm doing history because I'm a history major. It checks out. This is perfect. Okay. All right. What show or movie are you watching in your free time? The Society and Practical Jokers, a food show, Dance Moms, True Crime, Historic Documentaries, Back to the Future, Nothing, I'm Not in the Mood, a funny sitcom, NCIS, Cops, whatever is on at the moment. I'm doing a sitcom. Honestly, probably a sitcom. 
Or, you know, I, I think I'm going to say Back to the Future because I really like Back to the That's Future. A great I really movie. like a lot of other And it's in too. season three, and we were talking about yes. that last night. It's a great it's movie. It's relevant. It is relevant. Okay. And finally, your dessert choice. I think I meant to say dessert, but that's okay. Cookies, brownies, eggos. I thought that just said eggs, and I was like, <laughs> eggs? Eggs no. for dessert. Eggos, chocolate pudding, cake, cheesecake, a soft pretzel. That's not dessert. Hmm. Popcorn and M&M's. That is also not dessert. Nope. Cupcakes, donuts, ice cream, a beer. That is also not dessert. Guys. Dude, get your act on. together, quiz maker. I'm going to do cheesecake. I love a good cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I think, um, I honestly, I'm going to have to go with cheesecake, too. That is fantastic. How? Okay. How again? How again am I Steve Harrington? I got Max this time. You got Max? I got Max. Ooh. And it doesn't even have a fun description like the other ones, though. It, it just doesn't. says you are Max. That's, that's so sad. Steve Harrington. All right. So I think it is time for us to do a... A the promo. thing I was supposed to do last time. All right, wait, don't click it yet. I've got to fade us out. Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, ready? And go. Hey, Siri, what should I, like, listen to? You should listen to WCVFFM 88.9, The Voice. Does it have, like, variety? WCVF has variety. It is whatever those Fredonia College kids and community members decide to put on the air. That sounds like freaking amazing. Thanks, girl. Hello. All right. There We're we back. go. So I, sw- I switched that up because I played the wrong thing last time. So now I'm playing the thing I was supposed to play last time. Happens. So there we go. I have found another quiz. This is the one that has, I don't know how creative this one will be compared to the other ones, but this one has the most amount of takes, like 30,000 people have taken it, it says. Oh. So let's go with this one. One sec, let me pull her up. I also found something else, but we don't have to do it. Ooh. It's a I it should pass the Stranger Oops, Things general knowledge quiz. <gasps> no, we are doing that. We are doing that. Okay, we I just are sent it to doing you. That. We are absolutely doing that. This one is only seven questions, so we'll okay, be fine. Okay, perfect. Or do you want to do this oh, one? Hold on, we forgot to do the station ID. At oh, I can. Uh, this one? Oh, you're just the station that. ID. It's okay. A, in case you didn't already know, you're listening to 88.9 The Voice, WCVF FM for Donia. There we go. Yes. This is fine. <laughs> We're slaying. Fine. Which one do you want to okay. do first? Are you doing I'm doing this one, the one I sent okay. you. Said seven Let questions. me go to that one then. Did the other one send through for you? Yes, it did. Okay, perfect. Okay. This, is, this is going great. We definitely know what we're doing. We're definitely professionals here. Oh, t- yeah. Totally. Okay. You can read first because I'm not okay. there yet. Who would your best friend be? Eleven, Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Will, Hopper, Joyce, or Max. Again, it's a crime that Robin is not an option. Yeah, how is she not an option? Robin is literally the person I would get along with the best, but okay, okay, fine. I, mean, I guess. I'm doing Dustin. I'm doing Max. Max, my bestie. Yes. Okay, where would you? Uh, where would your ideal hangout spot be? Mike's basement, Max's room, log, in, log cabin, Starcourt Mall, community pool, or movie theater? Mm. I think if I'm, like, hanging out, I feel like Mike's basement would be cool, but I don't like Mike, so I don't want to choose. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to go with Mike's basement, because it's Mike's basement. It doesn't say that Mike is there. That's maybe so we've true. just broken into his house when hey, he's not there. Maybe we're hanging out with Nancy. Maybe we're hanging out with Nancy. Oh, exactly. I'm going to do Max's room. Uh, I'm, I'm going like with Max's Mike's room. basement, because I do I do love a good basement hangout. That is I true. Love, love I, I, just, I love to be in the basement. I love the basement. And that's valid. The basement at my house is so nice. It has these really comforting um, exposed wires and concrete walls, because it's not finished. That's so real. So it's, uh, actually, no, the walls aren't concrete. It's the floor that's coming. I mean, your basement seems pretty cool from what I've it seen is, of it on fun. FaceTime. The, the vibes of it are really fun. It looks like a, a Cold War bunker. It's that's great. so real. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. You go. You're Which reading. character would you date? Well, I'm an adult, so there's only two options here, and that is Joyce and Hopper. So Yeah, all these people are really young. All the other ones are children, so. I'm going Joyce. Yeah, Joyce would be cool. Joyce is I like, love Hopper, but he does he have has some problems. He, he has, has some, some problems. Yeah, I feel like Joyce, Yeah, she would treat me right. She would be respectful, mm-hmm. and I, I respect her for that. I love her. Joyce, I would treat her to be well. fair, Joyce also has problems. I she feel like does. she's handling them a little better. Well, Hopper has anger issues. Hopper, Hopper does have anger issues. I feel like Hopper is a situation where people would be like, oh, I can fix them, and it's like, no, that's not your no. job. No. Don't do that. Don't exactly. Do that. That's not your job it's in a relationship. Not, it is not. Advice from the peculiar Advice happenings. Advice from the peculiar <laughs> happenings. Okay, what would your friends describe you as? Brave, loyal, mischievous, funny, smart, optimistic, or a listener? Mm. Okay. Mm. I don't know. How would, How would I, you describe me um, out of these? Brave, loyal, mischievous, funny. I feel like you... 
are very mischievous. Mischievous. I like that. In a, in like a, that. you're mischievous in a good way. You know what I mean? Uh, this is good. Yeah, I think so. I think so. How would you describe me? Because I don't know. I hate I answering questions. I think questions you're like kind this. of optimistic. I think that feels okay. like a good vibe for okay. you. You know? That's valid. Yeah. That's valid. Okay, pick an item. Bandana, Dungeons and Dragons, board game, walkie-talkie, rifle, egos, comic book, Christmas lights, and fort. I'm going walkie-talkie. Okay. I just think those things are really cool. Walkie-talkie. I'm... This is our Dungeons and Dragons board, ga- board game. I have to go with it. It's I, I love Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. My dad so still good. has his original Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I, you showed me pictures. I showed you pictures. So it's cool. so cool. Because my dad thought he'd thrown them out. I was like, hey, Dad, if you don't want them, I'll take them. But he's like, no. No. These are mine. I'm keeping them. And I was like, yeah, okay, fair point. Fair point. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's me. Pick a quote. Friends don't lie. Classic. Mm-hmm. Oh, candy, leftovers, eggos. She really likes eggos. Uh, three, she will not be able to resist these pearls. Oh, I love uh, that. Dustin. Dustin with his teeth. <laughs> First of all, it's a wrist <laughs> rocket. Lucas Core. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. I love that line. Uh, maybe I mess. Maybe I am a mess. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm out of my mind. That was from Joyce, wasn't it? That, I feel like I that's think a that Joyce was. quote. I think that was. And then, oh, Max, stop stalking me. <laughs> yep. Uh, the last one, it's uh, it's like when you have a dream and you can't remember it unless you think really hard. Ooh. I'm going with, first of all, it's a wrist rocket because I think that's funny. That's, that's real. I'm going mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Me, every single morning. That's so true. All right. Lastly, who's your favorite character? Again, there is no Robin. Maybe this was made before Robin was introduced. I'm just going Dustin again. Hopper, Will, Joyce, Max, Eleven, Lucas, Mike, Dustin. Out of these, it's 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 Max again. Like That's so real. Wow, you'll never guess who I got. It's Max. I got Dustin. Dustin, ooh, read yours. Read yours. Okay, uh, it says Dustin. You got Dustin. You're very smart, and you were always eager to learn everything you can. You were always using your witty personality and brains to get out of your. Uh, to get you and your friends out of difficult situations. Although some people don't take you seriously all the time, you don't mind their judging. Ooh, okay. Mine says, you got Max. You're sassy, funny, and have a wild personality. You love your friends and family, even though they get on your nerves a lot. You make decisions quickly, which can sometimes be helpful, and other times not as much. I don't think I make decisions quickly. It depends. Because sometimes I'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. But other times it'll be like the simplest thing. I'll be like, oh, well, uh. I don't Maybe, know. I don't know. And then it also says you also have a great fashion choice. Thank you. Thank you, you quiz. Real. I'm going to do our grapevine really quick. Let's see. Uh, I think that is probably a good plan. Okay. We're going to go around will that you time. Pull up the other one. Um, I can read this. All right. Yeah. Last, last call for entertainment for the show, uh, show for the semester. Last Call Entertainment is hosting their last show for the fall semester at BJ's. Bands like L- Relentless Moisture, Mimic, Hit Girl and Cornflake Car will be playing on December 7th. I'll repeat that one more time. December 7th at 51 West Main Street in Fredonia. Doors are open at 9 p.m. and music is at 10 p.m. Y'all should check that out. That sounds super cool. You should definitely go to that, fellas. Sounds like a real blast. A real delight. It is a real, it sounds like a real delight. I I do like how we've kind of, (laughs) there's a structure we're supposed to follow. And then I got confused, and now we're just like, it's fine. It's okay. We're we're it, doing it, we're it. getting everything we need to done. So exactly, it's probably fine. All okay. right, this is our last quiz. If you pass this Stranger Things general knowledge quiz, then you're a true fan. It's a, a Buzzfeed fan. quiz. All right, all right. Do you got it up? Yep. What is Max's last name? Mayfield. Mayfield. Ding. Correct. Correct. What's the name of Dustin's girlfriend? Susie. Yeah. Oh, do we want to alternate? Sorry, I'm oh, no. going through no, this too okay. fast. It's okay. Okay. Who made the nail bat from season two? Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't Steve. It was Nancy, Steve. wasn't it? I think. I think it was Nancy. Oh, it was Jonathan. No, it was Jonathan. Devastating. Jonathan made it, and Steve took it. Okay, where is the show set? Indiana. Yeah. Can you imagine if it was set in Texas? Oh my goodness. That'd be really funny. My I think. My phone isn't working. What is the name of Elle's sister? What's going on? My phone isn't working, so we'll just go off here. Do you want to... Here, let's just We're doing this one together. (laughs) It's a group effort. It's a group effort. What is the name of Elle's sister? Callie. Callie, yeah. I think so. I think it's with a K. Yeah, it is Callie. With a K. Okay. And she was number eight. Which of these quotes was said by Eleven? She's our friend and she's crazy. Friends don't lie. It's... Yeah, friends. This is is too easy. This is too easy. Too easy. 
We're too good. What is the name of Billy's co-worker? The fool. Heather. Heather. It was Heather. Yeah. Heather is a cool name. What is Hopper's first name? Noah. Oh, my David. Goodness. Simon. It's Jim. Jim. It's Jim Hopper. Jim, Jim Hopper. I wonder if this gets harder. Or probably not. Where did Steve and Robin work? Plush Parlor, Scoop Troop, Baskin Robin, Scoops Ahoy. Scoops Ahoy. Yeah. We got eight out of nine correct. It says we scored 71% better than all other quiz takers. Interesting. I'm going to try to find another Stranger yes. Things trivia quiz. Another trivia quiz. Stranger Things trivia quiz. Did you find one? The ultimate Stranger Things trivia quiz seasons one through four. Ooh. Okay. I'm still going to have to take it okay. on your phone. Mine decided That's okay. to die on me. <laughs> <laughs> Did your battery die? No, it just like froze and went SOS. Oh. It was really weird. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. What state? In, that's Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Yeah. Who is not a member of the Scoops troop? Uh, Max. Ma oh, I thought that said Robin for some reason. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they give it's, off the yes. same vibes. Dustin, Erica, Steve. Who is Nancy dating in season one? Steve. Yeah. I like how it says Eddie and Billy. They're not even in season one. They're not even in season one. And mm -mm. no offense, I don't think Nancy would date either of them. What is the name of the pizza shop? Surfer Boy. Yeah. Because he always answers the phone with surf's up, dude. Surf's up, dude. What name was Eleven given at birth? Lucy, Annie, Jane, Charlotte. Jane. Jane. Lucy is my mom's name. Oh. I love your what mom. What star of the 80s classic, the Goonies? The, no, what star of the 80s classic, the Goonies, stars in season two? Josh Brolin, Sean Astin, Rob Lowe, Neil Patrick Harris. Sean Astin. Yeah. Was Neil Patrick Harris an 80s star? I don't know. What real life conspiracy theory is Stranger Things based on? Ooh. Oh, wait. Um, it says chemtrails, the Roswell incident, the satanic panic, and MK Ultra. I know. Uh, is it just the conspiracy? It was, yeah, it it's was saying based what? off of this. There was this one place that like yeah. kids did go missing and people suspected. Because it was originally called like the Montauk incident, I think. I think. Or you, there was another show that had the same premise. I would say the incident one because I feel like the that's Roswell some... incident. Yeah. That I don't think it's that because that was the incident where that there was a supposed alien like crash landing oh. in like Roswell, New Mexico. Interesting. I think. Uh, do we want? I would say the Satanic Panic because that's the one that's most applicable True. to season four at least. Yeah, that's valid because mm -hmm. I know chemtrails. That's whatever MK Ultra. That has to do with like I think the CIA or that has to do with like the CIA and mind reading mm -hmm. or something. That's valid. Let, let's go to Satanic that one, then. Panic. No, it was MK Ultra. Oh, of course it was MK Ultra because MK Ultra was when the CIA was trying to like figure out if people had psychic abilities or something. Oh, I did uh, not know. How that. did we get that? You learn something new every day. Learn something new every day. Where did Max and Billy live before moving to Hawkins? California, Florida, Texas, or New York? California, right? California. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For a second, I I was doubting my knowledge. What happened to Hopper's daughter? She oh. was turned into a demogorgon. He lost her to cancer. She lives with his wife. She goes to boarding school. Can you imagine if he had the super dramatic backstory? He's like, I lost my daughter. And someone's like, what happened to her? And he's just, she goes to boarding school. <laughs> she goes to boarding school, and I only see her twice a year. No, no she died, unfortunately. She died. She passed away. Who helps Byers family and Eleven relocate to California at the end of season three? What are the options? Dr. Owens, Dr. Brenner, Murray, or Miss Wheeler? Was it Murray? No, I feel like no. It was it was, it was, it was Doctor Owens because that Owens. was the good guy. Yeah, that was the nice guy. Which we but might. She kept in contact with Murray, so yes. that's why I, I thought for a second is because yes. she, Murray helps with the Russian thing. How do the psychic children refer to Doctor Brenner? Papa, father, sir, Papa, Doctor, Papa, because it's really creepy and ominous. Because it's really ominous. creepy and weird. It really is. What is the code name of the guard Hopper? Bribes help him get out of prison in season four. Dimitri, Yuri, Alexei, Enzo. Is it Enzo? I think it's Enzo. I think it's Enzo. Because I don't remember. Yes, it okay. was. I was for a yes. second, I doubt. I, I was, was so worried. Because I know Alexi is the yeah, it definitely guy they find like, working in the secret house base yes. in season three. But where does Eleven travel in season two, episode seven? Chicago, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, or Indianapolis? Chicago. I'm pretty sure it is Chicago. Because we've talked about this before, and we were pretty sure it was Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Yep. Yes. Yeah. How many questions are on this quiz? Oh, uh, a lot. I was just about to say, I don't think we're going to finish this before That's our okay. time is up because I know there's, I think there's someone else coming in at four. That is so. all right. We'll just kind of, we'll do our thing for now. We'll just what song go over them. do Dustin and Susie sing during climax of season three? Don't Stop Believing the Never Ending Story, Super Trooper, Take On Me. 
It's a never-ending story. I don't know how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm such a good go. singer, you guys. <laughs> Doing wonderful. Okay. <laughs> what dance do Ellen and Mike go to at the end of season two? Junior prom. <laughs> I would hope not. They're in, like, middle school in no, season no. two. They're Sadie like Hawkins, winter form of the snowball. The snowball. Which we recently watched season two. Yeah. And it was crazy looking back because I'm like, the funding for Hawkins Middle School must be out of this world. There's no way that this school could that afford is no that way. much. I, well, but maybe no they way. could because all the people that go to no it way. are like the rich suburban kids. That's true. That is true. But I, the thing is, even if, if it was, they would have to depend on funding from outside sources then too yeah. to get the money. Like, I just, it was, it was. And if it's public Crazy. school, no one's paying. Oh, yeah. So they have to go off of donations. Maybe Crazy. maybe the maybe maybe the suburban parents are like donating thousands of dollars. That's crazy. It was the decoration. I've never been to a school dance that was like no. that. Our school had twinkle lights that barely worked, and we Some would get streamers, party streamers like and half hearted and like three balloons. Yeah, that's all we would do. Yeah, exactly. We exactly. tried a fog machine one year. It didn't go well. Let's see. Set off the alarms. <laughs> oh my gosh. In season four, what nickname does Dustin give the gate at Lover's Lake? The rabbit hole, the wardrobe, Watergate, the moon gate. Watergate. Yeah. In reference to the Richard Nixon scandal yep. in the 70s. Who recruits Murray Bowman to help take down Hawkins Laboratory in season one? Um, Robin and Steve, Joyce and Hopper. Bar- it was Barb's parents. Barb's parents. Yeah. Because they're the ones that originally talked to Murray. Yep. Because they were going to spend their house. What? It says Nancy and Jonathan. This is wrong. It says to take them down to season one. It's season two. Weird. Season two is when they recruit Murray. You quiz, you're wrong. You're wrong, and we're right. <laughs> well, we are right. Peculiar Habitants, we're taking <sighs> over. We're taking we, over. We know. They need to get us in the writer's booth. They really we do. We could write this show so much better. Oh, we... No, that's a joke. No. You oh, know what show we, I could write better, though? We would have the good The Wednesday though. show on Netflix, but oh, I will not yeah. get into that. That deserves a podcast of its own, because I have strong feelings about it. We could always do a special episode where we talk <sighs> about other things we like. <sighs> or dislike Deep in breaths. the case of the Wednesday Deep show. Breaths. Anyway, uh, what al- what ally... Alias? Elias? Alias, I think. Alias does Max use for her video game high scores. Skater Girl, Zoomer, Maxi, Mad Max. Mad Max. Mad Max. Why does Mike travel to California in season four? To spend spring break with Eleven to help Eleven get her powers back. He ran away from home <laughs> to break Eleven out of jail. Uh, no, I think it's to spend spring it break. It was to spend spring break yes. with her. He does end up breaking her out of he jail. He does end up breaking but her But that wasn't jail. part of the trip. That's not why he goes there. Initially. What does Steve claim to be the secret to styling his hair? Aquanet, Farrah Fawcett hairspray, Rave hairspray, High hair hairspray. The Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. What is the signature ice cream flavor at Scoops Ahoy? Very berry, strawberry, mint, chocolate, chip, USS Butterscotch, or Shark Tracks? I think USS Butterscotch. I think so, because it would go with the name. Of yeah, Scoops I mean, they're, they're all kind of nautical themed, except for the yeah. strawberry one. I think I remember them mentioning USS Butterscotch, though. Yes. We're so smart. What is the name of the science teacher at Hawkins Middle School? Mr. Cooper, Mrs. Click, Miss Kelly. Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark. We love Mr. Clark. We haven't seen we haven't seen much of him lately. I'd love I to hope see him see come more back. All right. It is I'm afraid this is where we're going to have to end. Yeah. We're going to have to leave you guys. It is just but, about but it's 4 all p.m. Right, you know, because we'll be back every Thursday. Mm-hmm. It, yep, exactly. Every, every Thursday. Thursday 8 to 9. Want to hear us ramble yeah. about the things we like. All right, you ready to get the music? Uh, yes, leave the mics on for just a second because this says just it's sure. sleep, and I'm gonna try to figure out how to turn it back on. So just... you can just hit play, I think, and then I'll. Okay, there we go. We're good. Should be. Oh, oh no. we have to turn that up. Yep. Should be. Mm-hmm.